Okay, so this is a video tutorial for kids. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to navigate around Photoshop CC. Okay, at the bottom of the computer, we have something called the dock, and when we roll over the mouse, it shows all the programs that we have in the dock. Here we have Photoshop CC. We're going to click and we're going to open it and it will launch the application. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand it by clicking F. Oops, wait. All right. Doesn't work in this mode yet because we don't have an image open. So we're going to open it right here all the ways so we can visualize what we have all right so here at the left of the uh, work area we have we have the workspace which is this area right here the big gray area this is where images are going to be open and that's where we're going to work, right? Here on the left, we have something called the toolbar, which is this floating uh, bar on the left, right? And then on the right hand side, we have the palettes or the palettes, okay? Since I was doing some work previously, I have it organized this way, but you can pretty much organize any way you want it. So in order to reset the palette, we go here where it says window and we click where it says workspace and then we're going to reset essentials. So that resets everything and puts everything back where it's uh, supposed to be when you have that option. If you want to uh, use the program for uh, any other type of uh, project here you have different options for example if you want to click photography it will display um, what the program thinks photographers should use such as the histogram the navigator the adjustments the layers the channels the path or uh, if you're going to be doing typography then it arranges everything by the tools you, you that the, you will need for doing typography okay you can uh, create a customized version of your preferred um, uh, workspace area okay and uh, for the purpose of uh, this tutorial we're going to leave it at essentials okay so now um, let's open an image and do a little bit of uh, you know few modifications to it so we learn how to navigate the program know where everything is and how to use it okay so um, in order to open an image yeah there are several ways but the easiest way or one of them is to click here where it says file and then you go open and then you navigate to where you have an image right here I have uh, several images but none of them are of my liking for the purposes of this video tutorial so I'm going to uh, look into another folder that I have here called uh, screenshots and uh, I don't have anything there either but let me see uh, okay I remember now hold on uh, I have um, an image that should be stored here and the presets uh, samples where is it uh, nope it's not here so we're gonna go back and, and look for uh, let me see no it's not there either localis nope Oh my god, I don't have an image to work on. What's going on? Alright, I have plenty of imagery to work on here. And this... Uh, 
What do you want? Nothing. Is there a particular image you'd like me to work on? No. Uh, let's find an image on the web. Okay, so this... Yes. Yeah. Poppy? Okay. A poppy photo. So when you click poppy photo, you'll find all these photos online. And we're going to go towards this images of puppies and then we're gonna go with the search tool so I'm gonna try to find a big tool because bigger tools I mean bigger pictures work better so um, I think I like this one here let's play with this puppy so we're gonna take this image and we're gonna borrow it for the purposes of this video tutorial but we are not going to use it for any other purpose so we're gonna click and drag it here and we drop it in Photoshop and it opens right here so first thing I notice about this image is that uh, this puppy right here has something on its left eye and we want to get rid of it because it looks like something is unflattering about this little thing he has on his left eye so or her we don't know if it is a he or she so how do we zoom in we go here to the toolbar on the left and we pick the zoom tool and then we click once twice and now we can see the eye really big and really close now we're going to select now the spot healing brush tool now when you click and hold into this tool you'll see a J which is a shortcut for it which means if we type the letter J it will select automatically this tool okay so now we want to make sure that the uh, dimension of this tool is a little bigger the size of it is a little bigger than the size of the area that we're gonna try to fix so we come here where we have the preset for this tool you can see the little icon of the same tool up on the top right and we have a size of 14 we can increase that by clicking on the drop down arrow and we're gonna select the size and we're gonna make it about 20 20 should do that's perfect okay so once we determine that that's the size we just click aside and it closes that screen and then we just click and hold it right and we paint over the area you see that black shadow is the area where uh, the healing tool is going to work on so we let go and voila we have it it's being fixed now let's take a look how it was before it's before and this is after before after okay that's a beautiful clean eye for this puppy okay now let's say that we want to make the eyes a little clearer right they're a little dark and I feel that they would look much better if we lighten them up a little bit right so we're gonna go here to this tool which is now selected as the burn tool but we don't want to burn what we want to do is we want to dodge dodge is a term in photography used for taking away light from the exposure so when we click in there we have immediately a change up here and now we have the preview for the dodging tool it looks like a little circle and a little handle and that's what photographers would use back in the days when dark rooms were used for printing and uh, we have a size of uh, 65 let's make it a little bit smaller so here we go and we make it let's make it 40 okay we have all these different types of uh, brushes for working with but we're just gonna leave it there now and then we want to make sure that we have the mid tones because those are the uh, type of tones that we want to work on 
and we're going to have an exposure of 50%, which is half of the strength of how this tool works. So we're going to come over here to the eye. Let's zoom in a little bit so we have a better view again. We click on the magnifying glass tool or the zoom tool, and then we go back to our Dutch tool. We're going to click. Now look how those eyes are coming lighter and we click and let go we did it twice okay you don't want to overdo it because when you overdo it then it doesn't look real now remember a good photoshop is a photoshop that you can't tell that it was used so now the eyes look much more clearer than they did before. Now, sometimes when we work in Photoshop, we tend to forget how it looked before because our brain adjusts so fast to the changes that are happening that we don't know how strong we went at a certain effect. So in order to go back in time, we use a tool here called the history which is this tool right here on the top right hand side has like an arrow and it has like three steps and we're going to click in there and here it pops this screen and then we can see exactly what we have done to the image here is the first step when we opened it then we did the spot healing for the little thing that he or she had on her or his left eye and then we use the dodge tool three to four times and if we want to see how it looked before all we have to do is click here where it says open now look at the changes so far that's after and this is before sad doggy beautiful doggy sad doggy beautiful doggy all right so now we have brighter eyes and clean eyes right 